Hey there YouTubers, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we had a question from I am Dr. Death and he uh, very simply wanted to make a uh, user form, no not a user form, he wanted to make a list box that's not in a user form, that's on a worksheet like right here um, that has more than one column and it's really easy to do on a user form, we'll go ahead and review that. So we are, let me delete this create a new use, uh, list box right here on this user form and uh, go over here to the properties down here and uh, you go to uh, column count and you just say hey I want three columns instead of one and that will change it off the default and then you have the column uh, width um, and you can customize that so like 35 for a date and let's say 50 for or for their name and and then you put uh, um, I don't know 30 again for let's say a number so let's just make that here uh, date name number and let's make a really quick database here 1-1 one, one of this year 214 that's uh, Valentine's Day I guess and uh, Cinco de Mayo is right there um, and that's the beginning of the year right there name Dan Sally Mary and the number is going to be um, 25, 65, and 10. Okay, let's name our list really quick. My list, and hit enter. And very quickly, we're going to set the row source as that name that we just gave it. My list, and hit enter. So there is your, and now it's got three columns. See, um, normally by default the column count is one so all you see is the one column even though you have the whole table loaded so let's say if you wanted two columns and of course if you want all three you do this now one cool thing I want to show you about this let's say you only wanted column one and column three well check this out you just make the column width for for uh, the second entry here to zero and then uh, click away and as you see here it basically treats us as, as if uh, that one didn't exist. 35 is the width for the dates and then 0 uh, pixels or something for the second column and 30 uh, for the number. Now let's go ahead and make make it like 50 uh, so we can fit the full name. Maybe even let's do 65 point 65 hit enter so there's the uh, date name and number okay now um, what else? What else? I also, you can do this. You can say uh, column heads is true. Double click on that. And uh, let's make this, let's make this my list. Let's, instead of including the columns. I always get that mixed up. Alt I N D. That's your name manager. You can also go to data or something. Go to your name manager. Anyway, I'm going to edit this one. Let's make it instead of A1 through C4, let's make it B1 through C4. That's right here and uh, that's fine so now we've got to close this down let's open up something else do 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 uh, in fact let's open it like this and boy it's, it's, it's let's see I always hate having to refresh this thing here column heads false true false true okay fine okay here's what we need to do we need to go to row source and we need to take it out and then we need to now we need to go here and uh, go to row source and and re-enter it. Maybe it'll reload this way. My list, hit enter. So you got that going here. Um, what am I doing wrong? That shouldn't have been B. That should have been A2. Okay. Well, I'm an incapoop. Let's try this again, shall we? Alt I N D. Edit. Let's not make it B1. Let's make it A2. All right, hit the close. Let's hit Alt F11. All right, let's try to reload this thing here. Um, that should refresh it. Okay, very good. So um, now, if you want the headers to kind of be partitioned, just double click on the column heads, and now it includes them. But you have to select everything but them for some reason. So column heads is true. Okay, now you can't drag and adjust, which is really sucks, but oh well. That's how you do it on a user form. Anyway, uh, we were, the question came up, how do you do that on a worksheet? We want a list box, say right here or something. So go to insert, 
and we're going to use an ActiveX control of a list box. Where is it? Here's a list box. Let's make it about this big. Okay. Now, here's our list box. Right click and go to properties. Here's the good stuff. Okay, so you have uh, essentially the same stuff. Go to column count and we're going to do that. Three. Let's do 35, 50, and whatever we said, 30. Hit enter. Uh, oh, man, that's kind of big. Well, whatever. Now the uh, where's the, now it's not called a row source for some reason they call it list fill range but it does the same stuff my list okay and it looks like that is really way too big so we'll forget the column count let's just hit that and uh, it looks like it keeps expanding ridiculously a lot okay that's well that's fantastic so let's try to make this a little smaller I'm gonna exit out of there I don't know why it grew so large I'm gonna try to okay shrinking it here shrinking 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 well anyway you can adjust the size all you want let's go down here and we'll make this smaller 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 so it's essentially the same as what we just did in the user form so here is our thing here right click and hit uh, I for properties next thing we need to do uh, if you want you could do the column heads true I don't know why it keeps resizing this is why I use user forms because things on a worksheet are just quirky quirky okay but anyway so mercy gotta resize it again alright so here's our little um, here's our little uh, list box here. Now, uh, I don't know if this will update without us doing something to refresh it. Might need to. I don't know. How do you refresh that? Maybe you programmatically, maybe when you start and restart, maybe you have to put a code whenever this is changed that this uh, equal the list fill range equals my list and then it'll repopulate at any rate let's just put a click event okay uh, double clicked on there while in design mode and I'm gonna say every time you click on the stinking list box it's gonna update uh, update meaning um, uh, me dot list fill what the heck okay me would be the worksheet so whoops me dot list box one dot list fill range equals and what do we call it my list so my list um let's see if that works so uh let's see every oh son of a gun it's resizing itself and well let's see oh i hate i hate works for, uh, activist controls Sorry for saying that, but oh no 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 that's actually right because we didn't have this to be a dynamic range. Alt I and D. Uh, if I can edit this really quick, let's just include C uh, 50 just for good measure, okay? So every t when I click here, it updates, and it also makes the freaking list box way too large. All right, well, good luck to you if you're going to use a. Um, oh my God, if you're going to use a list box on a. Uh, on a worksheet, may God have mercy on your soul. Uh, make a user form come up, it'll be much prettier and you will not be so aggravated as I am at this moment. So anyway, uh, that is how you do that. You t that's how you make three or more columns um, in a list box. You can, remember, you can always, you don't have to use the row source or the list fill range. You can do it dynamically using the dot add item and using the other stuff. If you want to know more, check out, uh, do a search on my channel about list box and you will find my other video where I describe exactly how you can dynamically fill um, a combo box or a list box or whatever using whatever you want, if then statements, um, criteria, blah blah blah. So thanks for watching and God bless. Oh, and one one quick other thing. Uh, please check out uh, this new channel we got going. It's called Music Awesomeness. It is a channel that myself and some of my family members and friends have founded. Uh, we're going to teach guitar lessons, piano lessons. Uh, we're going to teach vocals. Eventually, we're going to do harmony training, by how to sing by ear, how to play chords and music by ear, how to play drums. We just came out with our first lesson. It is uh, my cousin, Treston. He's a very talented drummer. He's teaching you how to play. You can play one of uh, any 
pretty much any song out there uh, it's going to be in a 4-4 four, four beat so he's going to teach you the most basic drum beat where you can play along with just about any song on the radio um, just within a few minutes if you practice you can play drums along with a lot of stuff you can even pick it up use a pen pencil um, tap your feet and you're you're playing drums anywhere you go so it's great annoy your friends and enjoy it um, thanks for watching again uh, and please click on this link that's appearing on your screen right now to subscribe and to ch check out the music awesomeness videos thanks for watching god bless guys